Doorbell rings. Jeez, <sighs> it's still early in the morning. I'm Daichi Kadawaki, 25-year-old office worker. I've always wanted to come to Tokyo, but I've been so busy with my work that I haven't made any friends or a girlfriend. I'm a lonely guy, having a non-fulfilling life with my pet, a guinea pig. I've just moved into this 50-year-old shabby apartment because its rent was only 35,000 yen. I'm glad that the rent is really cheap, but there are too many religious solicitations and walk-in sales every day. It's rare that I have a day off on a weekend, and I was gonna sleep till late, but here it comes again. Is it that religious lady again? Or the information merchandise guy? I'm going to say that enough is enough! I have to tell you today, but you've been here so many times, but I won't... Good morning. Do you have a little time now? A woman in suit with brown hair and a ponytail was standing. C cute Big round eyes, a baby face, and short but big boobs. Hi, I'm Karen Miata. I came here hoping we could talk a little about insurance today. Oh no, she was here for her job. It's not the time to admire her smile. You're on sales, right? No thanks. I'm on my day off and I want to take it easy today. You're on your day off? Um, five minutes. I only need five minutes. Will you please give me five minutes of your time? But you're gonna stay longer, right? I know it's gonna be longer than five minutes. Uh, please? Uh, no? She looked up at me with watery eyes. Ah, I really like this kind of cute girls. But don't look at me. Will you please hear me out inside for just a little time? I lose. I'm completely lost. I don't even care how she impudently tries to go inside. <sighs> just for a little time, okay? Thank you so much! And she would hop happily. Hmm, I'm not gonna let her fool me. I won't let her. Excuse me. She came into the shabby room. She was staring at something. What are you looking at? Is that... a, a guinea pig? Oh, yeah, a guinea pig. This apartment is shabby, so they don't mind me keeping a pet. Wow, so cute! Actually, I love guinea pigs. It doesn't feel bad when someone praises on your pet. So, you like guinea pigs? Yes, I love rabbits and hamsters as well. But guinea pigs are my favorite. She rushed over to the guinea pig with sparkling eyes. It looked as if two small animals were playing together, though. What's her name? Kinako. Kinako-chan, what a lovely name! It is a she or a he? She. So, she's a girl. She's really cute. Hmm. I'm not sure if I should ask you this, but can I touch her a bit? Yeah, sure. She's friendly. Yay! Excuse me, Kinako-chan. She opened Kinako's cage and touched Kinako, rub her body against her hand. It looks as if hearts were floating in my room. She carried Kinako and stroked her lovingly. They look good together. It feels so good. Um, is it okay for me to come here again? What? I really want to see Kinako-chan again. Is that okay? Well... Oh no, she was looking at me with those eyes again. Stop it! You're making it too hard for me to say no! <coughs> what? You want to see her again too? Are you betraying me? Kinoko-chan! Alright, alright, you can come again. Yay! Thank you so much! I can see you again, Kinoko-chan! <coughs> She didn't talk about the insurance at all and left. Next week. Doorbell rings. When I opened the door, Miyata-san was standing there. Good morning! Can I come in? Sh sure 
She fools you with her smile, but she's impudent enough to come into my room. Whoa! I missed you, Kinoko-chan! Oh, I forgot. This is the brochure of our insurance. I'll put it here. Oh, that's right. You're here to talk about that today. Uh, huh? No, I'm here to see Kinoko-chan. What? Are you ditching your job? It's okay. My job is hard enough. So, I need to have something that makes me relax. Don't make my home a place to relax. <laughs> <sighs> Kinoko-chan is always cute! I'll bring you some snacks the next time! She stroked Kinoko a lot and left without talking much about her work today. Next week, this is Wednesday. This is the day Miyata-san comes. I'm sure she won't come today. I'm... I miss seeing such a pretty girl, but I can't afford expensive insurance. Doorbell rings. Looking through the peephole, I saw Miyata-san standing. You're here again? I opened the door and welcomed her. What? But you're always not working on Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's true, but I'm not talking about that. Why are you here today? I came to see Kinoko-chan. You should do your job. Don't be so serious. I brought Kinoko-chan a snack today. Thanks. I'm coming in again. She's always impudent. She's already giving Kinako a snack that she has brought. Is it okay that you're ditching your job every week like this? It's okay. I already accomplished my goal. What? It's only halfway through the month, but you already accomplished your goal? I'm really good at my job. You're saying that yourself? It's true. Okay, but that's really amazing. Yeah. I work over time and I call and send emails so that I can get appointments. I'm trying really hard. Amazing. I'm not very competent, so I respect you. Thank you, but I've never had someone respect me. What? But you already accomplished your goal and you're really good. I'm the youngest in our serviced office, so I'm not in the position to be respected. I see. There are a lot of older female employees in our serviced office, so the relationships can be tricky. Our goals are set high, so I've been trying hard to get back at them, and now I can finally accomplish my goals. That's great. But when I started to accomplish my goals, they started to bother me. I talked to my boss, but, but he's not helping much. She had her back turned to me, so I couldn't see her face, but... I could tell that her voice was starting to shaking. I'm trying really hard. Ugh. A lot of people tell me that I'm using my face and body as tools to get my job done. I know they've messed the inside of my drawer today. I didn't want to go to the office today. I thought that if I had an excuse, I could come here. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you on your day off. So, Miyata-san was trying to run away from the reality by coming here. She's been trying desperately with such a little body. I moved toward her. We stroked Kinako together, and I waited her to stop crying. After about 10 minutes, Miyata-san started talking about what happened at the office and her sad feelings. Eventually, she stopped crying and she seemed to calm down. Oh no! I showed my weakness in front of a client! This is so not professional. Well, you've never talked to me about the insurance, you know. That's true. Kinoko-chan is so cute that I forgot all about my work. Now you sound better. <laughs> yes, I am. I've never been able to talk to anyone about this, but I feel better now. Good. Okay, I have to work. I've ditched too much time today. What shall I say as my excuse? You should do something about your eyes first. I'll kill time until my eyes get less puffy. I'll just say that I was visiting my clients. You shouldn't lie. Huh? That's true, but mean. We joked and laughed together. I was glad that Miyata-san felt better. 
Well, I have to get back to the office now. Thank you for listening. Sure, don't try too hard. Thank you so much. You can come see Kinako whenever you feel sad. Yes, and... um... What? Can I come here on my day off? What? Oh, sure. Kinako will be happy to see you. Whoa, thank you. You have days off on Wednesday and Saturday, right? I'll come next Saturday. That's soon. I want to be soothed. Can I? Sure. Yay! I'll see you on Saturday. Thank you. And Miyata-san came over again on Saturday. Doorbell rings. Yes. Hi. These are cookies. Let's have them later. And this is for Kinoko-chan. Oh, thank you. No problem. Is Kinoko-chan well today? Yeah, she is. I think she's looking forward to seeing you. Kinoko-chan! I have to go see her now! And she rushed over to Kinoko. I've seen her only in her suits. So she looks different today. Her good figure is emphasized. And she's super cute. I have to thank Kinoko that a pretty girl like her comes over. Kinoko-chan! I'm here again! Miyata-san played with Kinoko a lot and left. She came over on Saturday every week after that. She didn't talk about the insurance at all. She would just talk casually with me and play with Kinako. I wonder what she's here for. And this is the day that Miyata-san would come. Doorbell rings. Hi. You never get tired of coming here, huh? I'm looking forward to coming here every week now. I see. I'm glad to be here every week. I'm sure Kinako is happy to see you too. I'm not here only to see Kinako-chan, but to see you too, Kadowaki-san. You need me to sign up for your insurance, right? No! That was my intention at first, but now... Okay, okay. I'll just take it as a compliment. When I said so, Miyata-san looked down sadly. I could get a wrong idea, you know. Oh well. A pretty girl like her would never hit on me. You said that you brought me cookies. Let's eat them together. Uh, sure. I brought some for you too, Kinoko-chan. She seemed a little down that day. Kinoko was cute as always, so I don't know why she was like that. She said that she'll come again next week, so I'll just ask her then. Next week. Doorbell rings. Welcome. Hi. What's wrong? You seem quiet today. No, uh, can I come in? Uh, oh, sure. Are you not feeling well today? Uh, it's not like that. But you're different today. Did you get harassed at your office again? No. Then, is it because I don't sign up for your insurance? But you've been playing with Kinako. Um... Y yes I don't care about the insurance! But it's your work. I don't care if you sign up or not. Um, um, I want you to have me, Kadowaki-san. Huh? It's true that I came here for my job at first. And after that, I've been here to see Kinako-chan. But eventually, I wanted to see not only Kinako-chan, but you too, Kadowaki-san. Uh, Lately, I've been coming here to see you. R really Yes, so will you please have me? But you're not a thing. You don't want me? That eyes again. Um... You don't like me? Of course I do. It's just that I don't understand why such a pretty girl like you come to see a dull man like me. It's true that you're dull, but still, I like you. So, you think I'm dull? That hurts. So, will you have me, Kadowagi-san? You're not a thing to have. Well, are you saying that you want to go out with me? Uh, yes! I've never expected you to tell me that you like me. I'm honestly flattered. I, I like you too. Will you go out with me? Uh, huh? Whoa! Yay! Kinako-chan, 
I did it! And she rushed over to Kinako. Somehow, Kinako seemed to be happy too. And I'm really happy too. Just like that, we started going out. She's pretty, hardworking, a bit stubborn, and very attractive. She got the best accomplishment in her department and got an award lately. Mean old female employees were caught harassing her, and they were relegated. She's working harder than ever now. I have to try hard too. I hope that the two of us and Kinako will live happily respecting one another. The end. Bonus. Why did you fall in love with me? Mm, because you listened to me whine a lot. What? Is that all? But that's important. You never denied me, but listen to me quietly. I was very grateful. Because I'm not in the position to say something about how you've been trying hard. Uh, that's so you. It shows how sincere and kind you are. I think it's amazing. Whoa. I'm a bit embarrassed. What? What is it? Mwah. Yeah. What? <laughs> I love you, Kadowaki-san. <laughs> Me too.